going on guys? It's about 5 in the afternoon on Friday. John, Rob, and Perrick have left Florida. They're just flying out to right now, I believe. And, you know, I had a ton of fun fishing with them. I didn't really film that much because I was really just focused on, you know, I wanted them to have a good time and catch some fish and then be able to film for their channels and stuff. And, you know, so if you haven't seen what we did all week, which I'm sure you did, you can check out their channels. We went out about three times, I believe. We had a ton of fun. But I'm excited to get back to doing my thing, getting up early and fishing. But, you know, it was just a, it was a lot of fun fishing with those guys. They're super cool. But right now, I'm on my way to get some Chipotle, kind of an early dinner before I go out tonight. And it should be a good night. I think I'm going to start off flipping docks for the most part. Then maybe, once the sun comes down, throw some topwaters. You know, the usual stuff that I like to do. I went out this morning, and I was up at like 4 this morning. went out super early, and it was just a terrible morning, you know. It was a full moon last night, and so a lot of times when there's a full moon, the bite is just super slow. Like in the morning after, it's just, you know, when there's a full moon, the fish stay up all night feeding because they have enough light to feed during the night. And so when morning comes around, what normally triggers that huge feeding frenzy in the morning is that the sun's starting to come up so they can see, they can hunt, and they're ready to roll. But when the moon's out all night, really full and bright, they feed all night, so there's really no big bite in the morning. So it's just super slow. And then the afternoon might be a little better because it's been hot, you know, all day, like fire brand hot. So the afternoon bite might be good, you know, because it's cooled down a little bit. The fish got to feed again. So that's what we're hoping for. Get on a little bite this afternoon. But right now, <laughs> Right now, I gotta get some food, dude. Gosh. I don't know why I'm sneezing. Alright, what's going on? We've made out on the water today, finally. It's like 6.15, so it's a little late, but it's alright. We're gonna start by flipping some docks. I got a DOA shrimp tied on. And look who decided to join me. Got the parents in the back. They decided they want to take a uh, an afternoon cruise, so... They might fish a little bit, might just kind of hang while I throw. And we're gonna see if we can maybe pull out some snook. I already see something big swimming in front of me, but... We're gonna start pitching the docks. Like that? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Uh, good call on that one, I think. What do you got there, Mom? I don't know. Oh, you got a Cuda. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> you might snap it, cut it. You want to cut it? No, I think he might cut it. Mom with a little cooter right there. There you go. Yay. There's a lot of stuff hanging out right there. There's a lot of stuff up right there. I'm not sure. We have enough though. Ooh, look at that it's a big old snapper coming for it. Nice mangrove right there. All right, there we go. It's in my camera bag and it's in a little plastic Ziploc. Ooh, the mutton. Mutton. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, right. They have to be 16 inches. Ow, oh, gosh. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool right there. Little mutton snapper. It's always awesome catching these inshore. There's such beautiful coloration to them. We'll get them back in nice and quick. Off like a rocket. Oh gosh, I just got wailed on. Now I gotta win that. Dad's mocking me saying I ain't getting no bite. Feeling one right way back in here. Boy, oh, <laughs> get out of there. There's a tiny, tiny snook. Holy cow. He hit it off the top. <laughs> There's a tiny little cuda sitting in front of me, too. Dude, I just got whaled again the second it landed. Something just came out from these mangroves and hit. <laughs> wow, that is probably the smallest snap I've ever caught. Probably not. But he hit it off the top. Little, little mangrove right there. It's been a weird day, you know, we're just catching mangrove snappers, no snooks, just mangrove and a barracuda so far. I'm literally dangling my shrimp, look at my shrimp, can you see it? You see that? Look at this, look at my shrimp's dangling on this branch and they're trying to come out of the water and hit it. I must <laughs> it is weird. I don't know if I've ever caught so many mangrove snappers on artificials in a day before. Another little one right there. I could probably keep throwing up underneath this branch and catch as many as I wanted. There's got to be a, a thousand mangrove snapper in this little bay alone. As every single branch I've thrown on, it seems like a pack of them follow it out. Oh, I think that was snook. <laughs> See, I didn't do the big hook, and now it's not. This looks like a little mangy. There's four in here, but six, I think, in total. I'm trying not to get pricked by them because they got really sharp fins. Simple as that. Unhook. He won't open his mouth. Come on now. That is six snapper. Very, very weird day. I don't normally ever catch this many snappers. I only had 20 pound test on. Oh, I just got, oh, look at this, snook following me. There was right from underneath that dock. Now this is peaceful. No, I'm... Oh, God. I think that was my snooker.
night is starting to come to a close here. You know, we threw the top waters, I mean, probably only for five, ten minutes, and no followers, or anything like that. We really don't see any action at all on the water right now. It's kind of dead, so I think the close at night might hop back on the little artificial shrimp and skip it around some docks and see if there's any snook starting to stage up for the mangrove or for the dock lights this evening. So might do that for a few minutes and run back to the dock. Little snook. I'll get it. Able to pull out a little snook off the dock right before we lose all of our light, really. He's on just a little near clear shrimp right there. He's not a big one, just a pretty little dock light fish, though. All right, off the water. It was a pretty fun night, you know, nothing crazy. Caught probably seven snappers, one snook, and two kudas. And the snappers were really random. I never catch that many snappers. I, I, you know, sometimes I catch one or two, but I caught seven tonight, and it was really strange. But they were crushing that little shrimp, so it was a ton of fun, you know, even on small fish. But using light tackle is always a good time. Right now, I'm actually on my way to go hang out with some friends I went to high school with, and I may bring the camera with me. I may not. I don't know, but. So if this is goodbye, hope you guys enjoy the footage, if not, hope you guys enjoy more footage. What's up everybody? <laughs> What's going on guys? Early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he 